Hey, can I do a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew? Grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Yeah, and then can I do another one of those yeah. with nitro? And I'm telling you, it's like it's like ridiculously. Hard. Thank you, you too. Here we are. We got here. The Zach Webb. <clears throat> My God. Hold on. Just Zach Webb. Just Zach. It's not just Zach. It's never just Zach. What is up, guys? Today we've got a special guest uh, in my car today. Um, you may know him as a fashion icon. No. <laughs> Others may know him as a musical artist. A few know him as a brother. Just one. Brother in Christ. Just one brother. Yeah. Crane will know me as. As brother. brother. I will know you as a brother in Christ. Uh, a lot will know you as a Christian influencer. Do you hate that word? Content creator. Content creator. It's like, yeah, content That's creator. That's much better. A Christian content creator. Influencer. Or just a con- Yeah. I hate influencer words. Or no, I don't hate it. I hate the connotation it has. Yeah. Because when people talk about it, it's negative. Yeah. But they're like, oh, you want to be an influencer? I'm like, yeah. not when you say it like that. Like, I want to create content. Oh, you want to be an influencer? <laughs> to start this video off, uh, before we get rolling, um, Zach doesn't know this, but I have a request for him. To give you some context, Zach released a song a couple couple months ago now called Found. You may or may not have heard it. Surely you have, because- On TikTok. A bunch of, a million something, two, two million, almost whatever. A lot of millions of people had seen this video. And I think it would be appropriate if you released a C a sequel to the song mm. and you called it lost lost yeah i have a song called lost actually do you actually yeah dang it i thought it was original yeah i have i have a song i have a song i wrote like a year and a half ago called lost Are you gonna give us a sneak peek it's not done yet okay well we won't leak it yet but not yet just know i guess now 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 we know that he has a song called lost i don't know if i'm gonna and it, found Okay, well, unreleased. Only close friends like me will get to close hear it. Close friends. So, <laughs> today I had him on because I wanted to have a conversation uh, about something I, I was thinking about um, this week and honestly over the course of the past couple of months. Um, when it comes to being a content creator and figuring out the balance between like doing that and being somebody who's on social media 24 7 as a job or you know a passion and then also like balancing life and balancing like relationship with Jesus and not letting it consume you and making sure that like you're not just being engulfed in what you do so yeah that's kind of the topic of the conversation it's just gonna be open conversation um, literally just wanted to ask you as somebody who is involved in content creation who does this every day pretty much how do you go about balancing that and then at the same time like making sure oh i'm not gonna let this overrule me or yeah you know and Your even life. if it's like something you you learn the hard way or like you're learning right now like yeah. i think the transparency is what people love yeah so one <laughs> so one thing that i so one thing that was actually pretty hard but i never really told anybody i don't i don't mind i don't mind when people like recognize me I don't yeah. mind it at all I love it and I love having conversations with right. people that are like oh bro like I've listened to your music or I've seen your videos it's encouraging so, yeah it's really encouraging it's cool because mm -hmm. people were like oh like you inspire me so much yeah but with the influencer you know stigma and everything like when I first came to Hillsong College people already knew who I was yeah and like they would make jokes and be like oh a TikTok dude is coming and everything yeah. and they assumed that like I had this TikTok charisma about me right and it was more of like a selfish thing which yeah. is like funny that you said influencer that like comes with that like it just when people think of that it has a it has a bad view it's a negative connotation yeah very very negative very uh, like self-absorbed yeah. type of thing Prideful, but all but that. literally bro like i was just bored like and i just started making videos and then god was just like oh i want you to share your heart and i was like oh really like you don't want me to just like do something funny <laughs> or just like i don't know I, there's nothing special about me really it's just i just 
I just share my story and then whenever I have cool thoughts, I write them down and turn them into a song. Right. I don't think that there's ever been a point where I've been like, I don't want to do this anymore. Right. Uh, because of the stories that people tell me and like um, how much God has just like shown me and like just shown favor over my life. I've never been a nine to five type of person. Never yeah. like, never liked working a job. I hate it. I've never liked doing it. And I worked at, it, which is funny that we're like actually sitting right here. I used to work at a car shop that had a, um, like a car wash. So I worked at a car wash yeah. for a little while. Um, and I worked at, uh, I worked at PacSun. And every single time that I would get a job though, like it was always the same thing. I would just be like, ah, oh, I'm burnt out. I don't want to do this anymore. So now that it's full time for me, and it's like my source of income, I have to continue to make videos. Yeah. And keep and keep like producing right. content. Because if I don't do that, then I obviously don't get paid or anything. Um, which, well, that's the only, that's the only negative part about it. It's like right. that. But I get to do, it's like ministry also. Right. So whenever I do post, you know, videos that mean something or like I make a song in it, like found blew up way right. more than I expected. Right. Like way more. And you were there whenever I released my first two songs last year. Mm -hmm. And like those did well just yeah. because of, you know, the blessing of having a platform. Right. But this one like blew like up. Like beyond. I saw people who are very like they may have a Christian background or yeah. a belief in God, you know, as from whatever, but they're not vocal about it people who do like secular mm -hmm. i don't know content creation who i followed like posting about it which i was, i thought was so cool because people with millions of followers who i was like i just felt were so far removed from mm -hmm. i don't know if you like christian content yeah i just saw them sharing this song and i was like that is so cool okay with all of, with all of that you know context and with all that being said how would you say like do you find it hard creating and you know doing something like it like you said it's your job like you gotta post you gotta do reels you gotta do tiktok even though you, you know you want to do music and you're yeah. on that route um do you find it hard like just not getting consumed in it because like for me personally i can be you know doing trends or whatever that are on tiktok but to do trends you got to know it's trending so you got to be scrolling to figure that stuff out a lot yeah, of the times in the beginning whenever i was bored uh, and it was like during quarantine, like I like I was I I fell into that uh, kind of like that phase where I would just like scroll endlessly, yeah. And like hours would go by, but I didn't feel bad about it because I didn't have anything to do, right? And then whenever like regular life started hitting again, I had to like break out of that. Um, I yeah, I had to break out of that and 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 be like, no, nah, bro, like this, like you're wasting your time now. I've never, I've, the thing is, it's like, I've never really been like a stuck to my phone type of person. Yeah. Even, even before social media and everything. Right. So I don't really have the issue of like always being glued to my phone. But the only time that I do scroll is to find trends yeah. and to find like sounds that could potentially be turned into a video or an idea. Yeah. Um, and usually I only do that whenever I'm intentionally sitting down, like, okay, like I need to make a few videos. Let's right. scroll really quick for like, 15 20 minutes save a couple ideas and a couple sounds to make some videos it's hard it is hard not to get like consumed and like especially whenever it becomes full-time and yeah you know money starts getting involved which in the christian niche like there's not really a lot of marketing there's not really a lot of money in it yeah. um if it was different and if it was secular i'd be making a lot more money which then could and definitely would turn the table a little bit yeah. and it would be more money focused which then would be unhealthy which is this is good in a way because it's like yeah helping you stay focused you're not chasing money you're not yeah. posting because you want to get money it is nice yeah. and it is your job so in a way you are but like at the same time you're posting and sharing things because you want to encourage people you, yeah you said it's your ministry like you want to help people you want to share the gospel like Lastly, I just wanted to ask, like, what would you say is some advice that you would give somebody who is trying to, like, find that balance? Like, say maybe their goal or dream is to do content mm -hmm. creation um, or it's just a passion or hobby of theirs, but they find themselves, like, 
consumed in it yeah. and putting it above God and their relationship with Jesus. Like, what would you say has helped you navigate that? Like, what have been some things that you've done just out of habit or would you encourage other people to do that may be in those shoes? Like tips and tricks to like stay away from being consumed or like tips and tricks if people- On how to it. just, uh, how to balance the, the two. Cause some people like just have this idea that social media is bad. Yeah. And they're yeah, like, they do. social media is from the devil. Like you shouldn't be on Instagram. You shouldn't be on TikTok. You shouldn't. Yeah. But my head, I'm like, no, like I, God, I want to use what's in my hands. Like yeah, God exactly. would, can and will be glorified through what I use. Like that's my goal. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I can, I see the opposite side where social media can be used for good, but Absolutely. kind of that, that issue where people are like, oh, it's bad. Okay. Stay off of it versus, yeah, you know. I definitely do think that social media is a tool for sure. Yeah. And social media can be from the devil and can, and can be bad with in the wrong hands. You know what I mean? Right. And, and I think that, um, but I think that goes for anything, anything at all, like money, yeah. um, job opportunities, you know, businesses, like it go, it could go for anything. So it's not just social media. Social media is the easiest way to get to people though. Yeah. Because especially in the younger generation, and this is the only reason why I even started making uh, Christian content is because I was on social media. I'm a young man. Yep. I grew up with lustful intentions. And yep. so like, that's just something that I learned. And I didn't like necessarily grow up as like a pastor's kid. I just, I just went to high school, played right. football and did things that a football player and young guy would do like yep. every young guy. But whenever I got out of high school and I started doing social media a little bit more and I got bored, I realized, oh my gosh, there's so, there's so much bad on social media that like thousands and thousands of young men and, and women are seeing on the daily. Yeah. And um, the only reason why I started was to be the opposite. And so if I could, I, my, my thought process was, okay, um, I know that like on average, a young teenage boy will, will scroll past and see um, videos or anything from, like, of, of like half naked girls dancing around. Yeah. Because that's just, that's just what the algorithm likes and that's yeah. what they push because it's popular. If I can get to that kid and I can get on his for you page and be a tool and be an asset to, to what God is doing yeah. and I can distract him for 15 seconds with a worship song or like, you know, try to encourage him a little bit or a yeah. verse or something. And I can, and I can get him to take his attention off of that and put it on God for 15 seconds. Then I've done my job. Yeah. That's like that. I'm, that's all I want. And you know, some people have told me like, bro, like ever since I started watching your videos, I've seen more and more Christian content. Yeah, and I just yeah. want to like, thank you for like encouraging me and, and help that. Yeah. And that's that, what's crazy is like, yeah, Christian content is not going to get more views than like secular content. Right. And that's not you like, that's not why we do it. And that's not what we're chasing off after. Um, would it be awesome to have a huge mass revival on TikTok and social media? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, of course. And like, that's the goal is to reach as many people as we can. But like, you just have to understand that when you're making Christian content, like it's going to go really slow, but you're, you're impacting more in like individuals, yeah. you know, even if it's 10, 15 people each day, yeah. you know what I mean? It's worth it. Yeah. Like it's so worth it. And I think you just have to have that mindset of like, I may not be like going stupid viral cause I'm not making dumb videos and I'm making stuff that's actually on my, on my heart, right. but I, but I'm making an impact. And Absolutely. I think you just have to remember that yeah. even if it's 20 people a day, I just have to keep that mindset of like, it's not about the views. It's not about the money. It's about the people. Yeah. And that's what it's always been about. Yeah. And it's always been about like making a good impact and encouraging people and inspiring people yeah. from the beginning. The goal has always been to inspire and like, yeah. impact Encourage people. people and, and like people think that's corny. People do think that's corny. And I, and I, and I, I don't like that. that. I like, I, I, I don't like that at all. If, if you have, you know, someone who's, you know, preaching the gospel or like putting verses on their videos or like writing and trying to impact people, like encourage them, please. Like, yeah. I wish that I had more people that would encourage me yeah. in my content creation because everybody looks at me and it, you, it, I just can't help it. And yeah. it's just a life that I've accepted. But there are mm, h half of the people that I see day to day probably have a negative connotation towards me because I'm a 
content creator yeah. and they always see me on their pages and scroll yeah. past my face because they're used to me yeah. and they're used to seeing me which is fine and you know I'm okay with that yeah but I, I just have to remember like no you're doing this like you're doing this for an impact I and I that. just I have to I have to remind myself of that every single day if I have to make four corny videos in order to get traction to get the videos and the music that actually means something to me out there and to and to reach people then I'm gonna do it like I'm just gonna as you should you know what I mean and like I, I don't should. care I don't I really don't care Good. I've gotten to a place now <laughs> where I've started to care less about what people think yeah in the beginning that's all I cared about because I was blowing up and I was like new to it yeah so I cared about like oh what do people think or like how is this video gonna come off at now I'm just like I really don't care I'm just gonna post it right some of them probably aren't the best yeah some some of them and I always do like have that thought of like okay if I post this is it gonna promote more negativity than like positive you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I do think about that but sometimes like I just don't care and I'm just like ah, who cares what people think it's not about that anyways moral of the story just care less I think the the this video shifted quite a bit in the conversation and I don't think it was for any you know I don't I don't think it was a mistake me just expressing my trauma no <laughs> I I I, I want to encourage whoever is watching this video um, if you're somebody who's like thinking about doing content you have dreamed about you know whether being on YouTube or doing reels or Instagram or TikTok or whatever um, but like you're kind of scared or timid to do so just do it like yeah his whole story like he didn't plan on you know doing this but it just was something he just jumped on and then mm -hmm. it just happened to snowball and he's very gifted at it and very talented at what he does um and you know like look at where it's gotten you now like you've released a song with over a million hits which happened in less mm -hmm. than a month right like yeah. that's crazy and you're going to continue writing songs and it'll continue going forward and you have massive reach and influence across you know the world for just the ways in which you encourage people to follow Jesus and to mm -hmm. model and and not even that like you don't even tell it on social media like you live it which is huge and like I, I just love being around you because I know like you're not fake like mm -hmm. when what I see on TikTok and what I see in person is like you and that's one of the realest things is like yeah. like you were saying at the beginning people will say stuff and they speculate or whatever make accusations but like i know you for you and i just know yeah. like for anybody watching this you may want to do content and you may want to encourage people through the content that you do or maybe you just want to do it as a hobby and like i just want to encourage you just do it and be yourself while doing it and use what's in your hand to reach people and encourage people and glorify God because like mm -hmm. this is a massive tool of the future like that we're living in right now everyone's on social media like that's literally the future um, and there are ways in which you can reach so many people um, by just using that gifting and you know being yourself through it it's like probably the best thing you can do because yeah. otherwise you're gonna build a yeah brand definitely don't, don't try to be don't don't make content and try to be someone else yeah because like just do do you stay in your lane do it has 100%. inspired you because if you try to make content and you try to, like if I, i'm not david dobrik right david dobrik yeah david david <laughs> i'm not david dobrik right. so i'm not gonna try to go and do da what david does yeah i'm gonna be zach and i'm gonna right you know and ride, that's yeah that's, that's what people need because and I've talked about this with so many other, uh, probably in multiple different videos about like your testimony and your story and your life. Like you're gonna be able to reach people I can't reach mm -hmm. because of who you are and because of the things you do and the ways in which you say things and how you create content, all these things, you can reach people mm -hmm. and I can reach people you can't because of the way I do things. But if I'm trying to emulate what you do and try and be you on yeah. social media, well, then I'm like doing myself a disservice and doing, yeah other people disservice because my story is gonna you know reach certain people or my personality might people might want to follow it because it's different yeah. same vice versa for every single person so just be yourself just post the content just 
start and go for it and get creative and utilize that you know that passion of yours um and stop caring about what other people think yeah. i think that's like yeah. the quote of this video <laughs> like just that's number one don't rule. care what people think because people will have stuff to say but at the end of the day yeah they're just obviously don't post like anything that if it's like if it you just have to think like is, is this going to cause a negative or a positive reaction right you know what i mean yeah 100%. and if it's negative don't post it obviously like don't don't care what people think but don't care don't care so much that like you cause a disruption right or like post negative you know right. I mean? yeah. that makes sense yeah yeah 100 percent. oh man this was a good chat it was good my coffee is gone and i'm a little sad about that uh and you're still going with some watered down cold brew um zach webb everybody and noah Os <laughs> noah osborne everybody <laughs> oh man uh, it was a pleasure having you in my car and my little Thanks. Honda Accord. Um, I'll have to do this again sometime, 100%. Absolutely. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this NOC. video. And OC. Yeah, we'll do it again in OC. Yeah, maybe I'll move there. Yeah, you will. We'll see. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Thank you for just listening to the conversation and being a part of it. Uh, if there's any thoughts that you had in regards to anything we shared, please comment them down below. I love hearing what people have to say. I love these conversations because it's not just us telling you things, mm -hmm. but we're just talking about it and working through it as we go. Um, I really love the way this conversation just like landed. Other than that, I'm gonna, like I said, I'll leave Zach's socials and everything in the description below. Um, follow him on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of that. Um, and follow the journey he's MySpace. about to head on. Yeah, add him on MySpace <laughs> and um, what else? Triller. Triller. Are you on Triller? No. What is, is that, that's a gaming app, right? I don't even Like know. you live stream as you play games? That's Twitch. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Trailer's like another TikTok. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yes. Have a good day. Like and prescribe. Good night. Like and prescribe me with medication. Yes. From all this trauma. <laughs> okay, goodbye.